G'day legends, welcome back to another Friday Arv install. Today we've got something really cool to show you. So this is our, this is a really good install for Friday Arv now. Been out the weekend, we've had a great weekend and um, where are we at? We're gonna actually show you today how to reinstall a flare on your ringer. <laughs> nah, not really. It's fucking, put that over there. We ripped that off last weekend, went out for a bit of a wheel and you know the old mud flap got under there. But what we are doing today, you've all seen it, everyone's been into us last week so we didn't release it. We just want to do some final touches. The giant 150 amp hour lithium battery that goes up on the wheel arch. You know what we're doing. First thing we need to do, and this is a must. Don't let anyone tell you otherwise, you must have a beer. So let's give it a crack. And I found another pair of sunnies today. I actually found these at, um, you know, I don't even remember where I found them, but they're not, they're not bad, eh? They're like, they give me like this, like, Mafia slash, I don't know, what do you call this? Bling. Brother Bears Legends, you cheers. Oh, that's not bloody bad. Right, I'm gonna give this one a wrap. This one's actually really good. Thought this would fit well with the Sunnies. We got the Pan Head, Hazy Pale Ale, Sandman. Have a go at it. Can't, can't tell you anything about it except for pregnancy warning. Alcohol can cause. Lifelong harm to your baby, yeah, Alistair? Look at the size of that thing. <laughs> right, eh? let's get into it. So, very easy install today. This is a good drop, by the way. I'm not lying. Very easy. Really, only need two tools. And what you do need, which we don't have, is a bit of felt or foam tape, which we are going to send in with the kits. So, you need a bit of Milwaukee lever and Allen key. Now, this bad boy is a. I can't even read anything these stupid sunnies. There's a four mil Allen key, metric. T27, I believe that is. Text bit, beautiful. Pretty much all we need to put this one in. It's very, very easy now. It's worse to be the auto sparky than anyone because you've got the internet fingers and all sorts of crazy things. But, I'll show you what we got. So basically, this, this panel here, this is our backing piece that, this panel here, you see it's all marked up because I've been using it for weeks. This panel here goes, into the bloody, um, onto that back wall to support the battery, right? But down this side here is where we mount our, through here, here, here and here, is where we mount our BCDC, Red Arc BCDC, and the face comes out there. Then we've made an allowance. Then the other plan was to actually put up here, you can actually put your middies up here if you want. So you tuck your middies in here as well as your BCDC. Your light comes out there, is that right? Yep, your light comes out here. But your light actually comes out and it mounts out on this other panel out here. Right. Oh. This beautiful bit of gear goes like, oh, oh. God, I'm losing it. Yeah. Right, so this beautiful bit of gear just goes on like that, right? And your light actually bolts in here. So you still get your factory light in the tub. And then we've got a plate that goes in there, which is that bad boy. So it goes in the back here where your light was. Your wires run through there and it runs around into your tub switch panel. Happy days, you're just gonna pull two wires up the front to your, obviously your main battery to get charged back to that one. And then straight in the tub switch panel, straight in here, happy days. So let's get into it because we're running out of light very quickly. So we're gonna get into this one and show you how easy it is. I'm gonna pull these bad boys off. We'll put them here, be cool. That's pretty cool. <laughs> get the beer, we don't wanna drop the beer. Kind of that. Oh, don't forget, look at the coloured Crocs, have a go at them. I got invited to a party today, so one of them cool guys wears Crocs, coloured Crocs. So, old uh, Al behind the camera, he's having a Crocs party in May, so we got invited. So, um, give me some suggestions down below in the comments, give me suggestions on what I should do to the Crocs, because we can't just go and buy a set of standard off the shelf Crocs. We need to buy ourselves something, well we need to create ourselves something cool. So give me some suggestions below and we're gonna make a couple badass sets of Crocs. Let's see it, legends. Righto, let's get into this thing. Play times over. Well, we've been interrupted, another commercial break from Pole Air. Let me go out there. Actually, you know that's Pole Air. That might be the care flight chopper, actually. That's good. Lost him. Camouflaged. Camouflaged, he turned himself into a non-seer. I can see him still. <laughs> Anyways, Pole Air loves hanging around Ipswich, so we interrupted a bit of our do our time. Now those of you who aren't from Brisbane, Pole Air is our police helicopter <laughs> that hangs around a lot. 
But anyways, righto, so now he's got away, we can talk again. What we've got is we need to undo the light. So first step, grab this bad boy. Now you're gonna have different bolts to me in this. You are gonna have different bolts in your light than me. I think they're that T27 again, because I took mine out a while ago, and we put this in, and I lost them. <laughs> they're gone, so I had to put some new ones in for this. So what you're gonna do is basically, there's some clips in there. Do the opposite of what I did then, actually I went the wrong way. Get up under there, no it is that way. Under there, bump, pop that out. I did break one off to be honest, but I broke one off, right? I've broken one off, but it doesn't always, it doesn't really matter. You got two bolts in anyway. But generally, what happens is that sits in there and you just get under it, push up, and pull it out. Cut it jam going is wriggle it out. Now, that's going to be always be a pain up there. Get the switch, pull that back. So, that should have been on, but I didn't put it on properly. So, you pull that red bit out, which it pulls out like that, and then you can pull the switch off, the plug off, right? It's annoying that. Yeah, anyway, so I can't get it to work with it not being on the thing. But normally that's in, and you're gonna pop that out, and then this will pull off nice and easy. Very, very easy. Put that over there. Next step, get that out of the way. Just grab out, you're gonna need something better than this. I've got these, just put them back in nice and loosely. Get your T27, and just bloody undo these. This point here, this point here. I wanna get these couple of tie down points out of the way. To make this nice and quick because we've got all sorts of hold ups to salvo and we're running out of daylight. Get them out there. Same again up here. Got a couple up here. Ooh. Ooh. So we want this, this tie down point out as well. We want this bolt out here. Rip him out. That one out. Pretty sure this one there. Yeah, there was. Um, then we want to get this. This bad boy sits up on here. See, we, we go in. Why did I pull that one out? Oh, yeah, I know why. All good. <laughs> Who knows? Put my own products in. Bloody hell. <laughs> so we put this one back in here. We've got a bolt that goes back in here on this bad boy. And then, I've got to put this bad boy back on here. And we put Pretty useless putting this back on to be honest, but hey, I'll put it back on because you can ask questions if you can put it back on, so we'll put it back on. At least it's on there. If you ever want to tie something randomly flat. Ikea? Ikea, like an Ikea flat pack. <laughs> Let's see if we find the um, hole and line it up. It's always a great start. You're losing light, but you look magnificent. In Do I look magnificent? Is it the pineapples? The shirt and the diamonds. Oh. Fuck it. I'm going to get this thing on. More bar. More bar. Oh, my glasses, man. It is. It doesn't matter. Realistically, it doesn't matter. Run out of light, so you'll do them up, right? Time. Now we've got a series of bolts. Just gonna get a bit of bit of room here. Move maneuver around a bit. Let me put my sunnies up here. That didn't work. Put it out, put them back on. There we go. Oh the highlight things better. So now we've got a series of bolts. Now you're gonna have a better bolt pack than what I've got laid out here. Where did that then there? Oh, never mind, I found them. To be fair, I didn't actually pull this out, someone else did. So, <laughs> been real busy today. Someone else pulled it out and I um, didn't really have much time to see them do it. They'd actually gone home before I even come out here. And yeah, it's a bit of a nightmare. Oh, right, I get that over there at the way. Now we need a lie down here now. So what you've got is, underneath this lip, at the start we've got a folded lip up there, we've got a couple of slots. So you'll see the slots in here. Now, you just got to push it back. You can see the thread. Now, I'll be honest. I put a lot of threads in. 
and I've ruined a lot of threads. So don't do what I just did then, I'm just being lazy. Actually start up with your fingers first, because this is the best way to cross thread a, cross thread a bolt. So do not do what I'm doing. Do as I say, not as I do. But it's okay, I can cry if I ruin it. <laughs> no one will ever know. This angle is... Um... Is it? Yeah. You get my gut? You get my baby? The whole... The whole shebang. <laughs> hey, look, sorry boys. Married. <laughs> right, -o, so we do these ones up. Get them up nice and tight. Oh, yeah. Right over on here. Oh, I've got my finger. Oh, s***. Right, that's something to look out for. You hate when you pinch your finger now? PPE. Ah, oh, PPE, see, PPE. I do it the opposite of me. That's why we drink. Right, -o, so back into it. Got our plate. It's our holy plate we spoke about earlier. Got our two bloody bolts. Bring our wire out. I think this one went that no, goes through there. Bring out one of the larger holes. Put our plate in. So basically the idea is that when your auto sparky wires this in, you'll be able to put grommets. It's gonna actually be able to put rubber grommets in these holes, which will stop these from chafing along there and actually wearing through. So all your wires going in will be nice and protected and there'll be no There'll be no bloody, um, yeah, no issues down the track for your wiring or anything. So we've tried to think it through the best we could. The auto sparkies, you know, work with some of the local sparkies just to try and make it better for people. We haven't got ours wired in yet, as you can see, but it'll come. Good things come to those who wait, they say. Jam that one on there. Now, just to mention this quickly, those two bolts are the ones I pulled out earlier, but they're not the two. So the two bolts you pull out of your light, don't go back in here. You'll have two of these to go back in. It'd be a lot easier just keep them uniform. Beautiful. Keep that out. Now we don't want to lose this blazing. It's hard to get back up, trust me. I can tell you from experience. Now, this is one of the important parts here. Get rid of L Sunny. <laughs> So this is one of the important parts, right? So we've done a bit of testing and I wanted to see what would happen to this if I didn't put any foam tape or anything on to see what we had, how it was acting. And you see here, we've actually got some scuff marks. So we've done about, uh, I don't know, to be honest, maybe 500 Ks of testing. But we only drive this thing to go on trips, go to the 4x4 show, maybe I go fishing with it. Like we don't really drive it that often. so. When we drive it, it's always getting thrown around, or me jumping it, or doing skids, or whatever. It doesn't really do a lot of, a lot of everyday driving. So hard 500. It's not a hard 500. To be honest, we ripped the path, the bumper off at the front. We've uh, lost the flare. We got some weird knocking noises in the suspension at the moment. But hey, it'll be a good car when we sell it. <laughs> no, look serious. So we've got some scuff marks here. You can see where it's been rubbing. It's been rubbing in the corner, right? So what, 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 what the idea of this was to find out. Where this is actually going to rub when it's sitting in there, because of the because of the tub liner, you know, the tub liner can actually it's free to do what it wants. So it's going to be it's going to be not right of us to be like, hey, you need to pull your tub liner out and put this in. So I thought we'd see what we do. So what the important part is, you're going to get some because we're not supplying you the battery, right? So you're going to buy the battery. So you're going to get some foam tape from us, and then you need to put foam tape around these edges and around there at the bottom, and then. Across this face and this face, right? So these, all these long faces this way, like that, and then underneath, we want to put some around here. It doesn't have to cover the whole bottom. We just want to put just enough there. Like even if you had a, so we'll probably do a 40 mil tape. So you run 20 and then fold it over, so it goes across there. And that's just to protect these corners, because obviously at the end of the day, as we know with lithium, there is dangers with lithium. If you rub through this and rupture one of the cells inside. Poof, we're up in flames, we're gonna burn the range. No one wants to burn a ranger down. So, well, some might, but <laughs> no one wants to. So, that's very important to put that tape on there. I don't have any today to show you, so you're just gonna have to trust me on it. Oh, that's a monster truck. He's near you. Now, there's a monster truck down the road here. He lives near Al, so Al doesn't live far from us now because, you know, you've seen how great it switch was. Thought he'd come out and join the crowd. And uh, there's actually a monster truck down there. They've got two of them, I think. Steve, I think his name is. I think they do fireworks as well. Maybe he doesn't do fireworks, but he's got monster trucks, so he's got like two of them. 
go find him. They're pretty bloody cool. Maybe. If he doesn't do social media, if he did social media, we could G him up, give me a drive, see if we could flip it. Ho oh, oh. ho! Anyway, come on, back to it. We're in there light. So, battery. Battery, very, very good battery. Hup, hup. Get that in. Ooh. Here we go. That's what I'm looking for. Stop for Bevy, guys. Ooh, Bevy. That's actually not bad. So, we're going to pretend we've got, you can see here, see that white there? That's where this corner here has been rubbing on that. Well, it's not this moving, it's been the tub liner moving. So, you know, there's been a tiny bit of movement in this. So the idea of the foam tape just stops all that movement, and then it can't move if it's all gripped up. That's the important key right there. Or you're going to wear through your tub liner or something. So we get the battery. Terminals facing backwards is probably going to be the best way. Um, maybe the other way, depending on what your Sparky wants to do. It doesn't really actually matter. Jam that bad boy in there. Grab this piece. Big bit, all your tabs. Drop him on top. Now, realistically, I'd probably take these handles off. Them off out of the way, because they're pretty much just getting away when you're trying to put terminals and stuff on. So you're not actually going to need these. It is a little, it's not really that heavy either. It's probably maybe 10 kilos, 12 kilos. You're so strong. Right, anyway, so back to my little bag of goodies. You see over here, we've got two bolts here. Now over this side, we've got another two, and you'll see another thing cut out there. See what's happening there in a minute. Put them ones in. God damn it, I put the washer on. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. Done it. He's ruined it. Just watch me stuff it straight. Now he got it. He got him. Ah. <laughs> oh yeah. Right, eh? Last, second last piece of the puzzle, this bad boy, nice and easy, that's why I took that off, that one there, two of your black bolts, get him again, now, it literally just goes on like that, boom, straight in there, look at that, magic, so easy, so, put one of these back in, secure him a bit better, how's the light, Albert? We're hanging on, we're hanging on, we're going to get a real done again actually, we're going to hurry up and go a bit harder, haven't we? I can't even stop with more beer breaks. It's pretty hard. That's the problem. This is the problem. I don't know. Scheduled beer stops. Scheduled beer stops are out today. I promise next week I'll do better. I'll do bloody better next week. I'll put a bit more effort in to get out here on time. Just had a bit on today because we actually have to go and try and fit another product we're going to drop in. Oh, we might be able to drop that one next weekend actually. Yeah, we might be able to. And then we'll drop the other one we're going to do next week and the week after. Yeah, but you wait and see. It'll be a good one. Especially if you have... Here's a teaser. If you've got an XL or an XLS Ranger, you're going to love us. <laughs> you're going to love the pirates. You'll see. <laughs> All right. So we're going to put this on, right? Got a bit sidetracked there. Two bolts. Tie down point back on. Done. Done. We have... Put a pocket up here now i know it's a little bit difficult to get to but it's just for all those random things you know what i mean like you stand on the step of these things and you've always got random stuff that's floating around throw it in here you know air gauge whatever air gauge blower strap doesn't matter all those random things you got floating around I throw them in here now this here this and this it's giving you a little insight to what's coming in two weeks from there to there just think about that what we could do with that in this car and many other cars Right, hey, so, carry on. I've sprung two new products this week. I'm going well at you. Right, hey, so, last piece of the puzzle. It goes on here, which I explained earlier. BCDC bolts in there. I don't have it because we're trialling on another product at the moment. So, um, Red Arc, can you loan me some BCDC? Even ones that don't work anymore. Just, <laughs> Just to case. look good. Just the case will be fine. Just look good. Please. <laughs> right, hey, so, this one bolts on here. Get me bloody bolts we had prepared earlier. Right, 
So, you will have some washes. It's probably the most unprofessional install we've done. Doesn't matter. It's still bloody cool. Now, I don't have any more washers, so we just put the bolts in. You get a feel for what's going on here. Last but not least, guys, let's pull this panel back off. Ow. Uh-oh, <laughs> we've got a problem. <laughs> Money rookie. Have to be one. Have to be one, I'll tell you what. <laughs> I didn't even install this the first time. What did you, Cletus did, the apprentice. There's a problem. There's a problem. <laughs> See, I just find these far more enjoying if I just don't install them at all once first, because it brings a bit of entertainment value. So, light, very simple. The light goes in this way with that pointing up. That's the top. Push them in, clip it in. Bolt, put a bolt in there, which will come in your pack. All these bolts come in it, by the way, which I think I explained already. Put them in. Right, don't go too hard, but because this is only plastic, so you just tear that right out. So now, you've got to actually get, pull that wire back out, it goes in this side, jam him in, push that clip on. Oh, my clip's not even working now. There we go, clip on, lights in, line him up. Let's get it. I'm racing the sun now. It's not a sunset here, but it's always beautiful. All right, last three bolts and we're done. Oh. Are you the horse coming? Right, hey, legends, legends. That's a wrap. This one is done and dusted, so 170 amp hour, BC, DC, midis can go in there, all runs in behind the light, into your switches, andos, USB, whatever, into our tub switch panel. Two wires back front, that's simple. Man, thanks for all the support, legends. Don't forget, comment, like, make sure you subscribe. It makes a huge difference. And when you drop on our webpage, subscribe to the email marketing because we send out, we pretty much, it's about half an hour before we launch, sometimes more, we send out the email so you guys get to know first for everybody else. Thanks for the support, Legends. We'll see you next week. Yee -hee. One more thing, Legends. Don't bloody forget Pirate Piss Tanks. Now, I made a few little ones today. Film yourself doing your installs. You drop a bolt, you smash your knuckles on something, you hit that finger, whatever, doesn't matter. You cut your fingers. We want to see it all. You drop things, you hit your head. We want to see it. Don't send me a 20 minute install or your four day install. Just send me that 20 second snippet. And Alistair behind the camera, at the end of every month, we're going to bloody, um, end of every month, he's going to mash them all up. We're going to make a cool little compilation. We're going to bash on YouTube and across social media. And whoever's got the best one out of all of them for that month is going to get a $500 gift voucher to our online store. Right, well, legends, let's do it. We'll see you next week. Yoo!